Jura Levy wins the women's 100 meter finals at the GC Foster Classic Final A last Saturday. This was an exciting matchup, so we thought we'd give you a look at the three women's 100 meter finals. Because, people, outdoor seasons has begun. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know. The next video drop, you drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. Are you ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, I thought this was a very, very exciting 100 meter finals at the GC Foster College. Now, the women really looked like they were having fun. These were timed finals. So what that means is they had more than one final and then there was an there would be an aggregate of the fastest, second fastest and third fastest time and that is how they would come up with the winners. I thought all three finals were very exciting. And I was very excited to see Jura Levy battle Alexis James. Levy has been in the game for a minute and Alexis James is a fairly new fairly new um, uh, pro athlete. Now I can see that there was an absence of the heavy hitters, but still I found this a very, very exciting series of women's 100 meters. Now remember people, the season just start, outdoors just start, so the times are not going to be the fastest, but I really enjoy the action. Let's first look at final C. Women's 100 meter finals C was won by Norma Lee White, MVP track and field club, with a personal best time of 12.96 ahead of Tanisha Benlos of the Michael University who ran 13.08 and uh, Shake Spence of Denby High School ran 13.30 uh, PB to take the third spot. So that was final number C, normally white of MVP track club, 12.96, a new PB for her winning that one. Now available, Peter Lloyd World t-shirts with, yep, good to go, and bless up on the highest quality t-shirts. You can get long sleeve, short sleeve, any size and or color you choose. We have them cut for women and for men. So if you want to support the channel, keep us glowing, keep us growing, keep the best in sports happening. Get your Peter Lloyd World t-shirt because you royals are truly the best. Repping for Montego Bay, Jamaica, from the Mount Alvernia High School, it was Rihanna Rary who won Final B with a new personal best time of 12.50. In second place was Corvett Mighty of Camperdown High School who ran 12.51. That's how close it was, a new personal best. And in third, representing... Aberdeen High School was Tashara Cawley with a time of 12.58. Reading. 
Now I watched this one several times. Rihanna really ran from pretty much the back of the field. If she had gotten a good start, I can't imagine the time she'd have run. And she still ran a new personal best. Gonna keep my eyes out for her, young lady from Mount Alvernia. Um, high school in Montego Bay. Great, great run. So that's final B. And you notice that it's mostly high school girls that were running um, these finals. Now we get to the big guns in final A of the women's 100 meters at the GC Foster College. Olympian Jura Levy uh, took this one in final number A in a season's best of 11.55. Levy, of course, represents for Legacy Athletes, Athletics Jamaica. Michaela Moody of GC Foster came second with a season's best of 11.57. And Alexis James, now out of Micro University College, remember we did a story on that last year, ran 11.61, a season's best to take third. <laughs> Jura Levy had to work for that one, but this, of course, is my two cents. It was really, really good to see Alexis James now running for Michael, Michael University. She looked great. Great start, caught towards the end. Good look for the beginning of her season. Um, it's just the beginning of the season, people. And I really, I really think this young lady is talented. Want to hear your thoughts. But she looked good to me. Go back, look at the race. She led almost the entire race right up to the last 10 meters. Um, and she looked good decent time like i said the season just opening for people like herself she's now a pro athlete uh running for michael university i thought she looked good i'd love to hear your thoughts mikhail moody looked good i thought she ran a solid race great sort of opening up for her season looked good time was decent um again very very early in the season so it's very very hard to um I don't know to speculate and or anything else but i thought the race was nice and competitive and it was good to see them out there stretching their legs running 100 meters it was a good look to me now just looking at the lineup the clear favorite in this race would have had to be jura levy jura levy is an olympian a pro um looked, also looked really good ran from behind didn't get a great start again it's very early in the season so she's just getting her legs under her and you know what, people, sometimes we, we, we spend a lot of time looking at the, 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 the top tier athletes. And I'm not suggesting that Jura Levy will not become or is not a top tier athlete. But I'm talking about, you know, the usual subjects. Shelly, Elaine, Sharik, this is the usual. Great athletes, love them. But I kind of like looking at the other athletes also. Uh, sometimes athletes emerge, look at Sasha Lee Forbes. She's doing a great job and I think she's going to have a great year. So it was good to see Jura, Jura Levy open up her season, so to speak. She looked solid, ran from behind, very confident, did what we expected her to do, which was to win. But this, of course, is my two cents. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification the like button. Remember your royals, kings and queens. Hope you enjoyed this look back at the GC Foster College Women's 100 Meter Finals. Bless up!